Hello, love bugs and breaking paleo news. We have the patch 0.178 notes. Thank you so much to Ash and Mel Bell for putting these out. First off, we have to take a minute and say congratulations to Ren Donhaven for getting your picture as the featured picture for this update. But also, holy crap, this makes me want to redo my entire kitchen all over again. Can y'all stop being so good at this game? All right, spring is in the air, which is the theme of this new week's update. You can see it in our new temple and decor. Also, Pelia has arrived on Steam. So welcome home to all of our new Paleans who wanted to wait for Steam to start playing the game. At a glance, explore the all-new Temple of the Roots. Grow your garden with flowers and tree system. Love blooms when you find your special someone. Uh, Paleon Steam, like we just said, and controller rebinding. I know that this is a big thing that a lot of uh, PC controller players and obviously Switch players have been complaining about how the controller works. We've been asking, why can't we just have rebinding? We have it. Frogbert, Nup said now i'm not just going to read through all these uh all these for you but i definitely want to give you some of my thoughts and uh things that i think are coming or maybe some secrets that i might think are hidden in here so first off we have the temple of roots is now available for us to explore the next big chapter of Pelia's story is here uh, with plenty of puzzles and hidden secrets around now they already told us before that they've heard us about the temples they understand the frustration with not being able to find certain areas so they have given us some clear pathing and some markers to make us know that we are still on the main path however if you read here in the notes it says that uh, all of that we are uh, discovering all the details big and small that we've put into this earthbound area now to me that says that we don't just want to stay on our main path the entire time because there are going to be some hidden spots in here that i'm guessing won't matter to the actual storyline or to completion if we miss them but if we find them, we're going to be excited that we did. So I would definitely make sure to run off the path a little bit in the temple if you are a completionist. Um, beginning this quest line also does require you to, to beat the Vault of the Gale. So just keep that in mind as well. A new vault has been added to the Temple of the Roots with a very special reward for completing the bundle. And I like that they didn't spoil it for us because I'm really excited to see what it is. Also, the final pieces of the Emberborn furniture set are now complete. Now let's talk about this for a second because holy mother these items are good first off i think that this right here looks like a perfect like hot tub kind of the we've all been kind of like making fake hot tubs up to this point and this looks like a real one in in my opinion they're calling it a bathtub but let's be real this is a hot tub uh, <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful but the big things that i really like that they're adding to the set are the plant are the plants i mean look at this planter it's gorgeous this is going to be stunning, especially for outside mixed with our flowers. And I mean, this look at what the flower there. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get making these. And I also want to mention that these are going to be, um, you're going to get these for completing the Temple of the Roots and it will trigger inspiration from the rest of the items, meaning these are all recipes that we're going to get. And if you look right here, we are getting a small rug as a recipe. We don't have any rugs as recipes right now. So I love that they're actually doing that for us. Uh, I'm that these, that, that, that I'm guessing this is the rug or maybe that's a rug um that these that the rug is actually going to be something that we can, oh yeah large rug and small rug look at me look at me being able to read uh we're going to be getting both of these rugs as actual recipes so we can make multiples of them which is to me incredibly exciting because we have not we mostly have to purchase rug rugs at this point so the fact that we're actually going to be able to go and make as many as we want and line them as much as we want without having to spend our gold on them i i am so excited and i hope they do more of that we can now obtain flower seeds. This is the big thing we have all been super excited for. Look at all of these beautiful flowers. They are so gorgeous. I am just obsessed. We cannot wait to see all the beautiful gardens that Pallians will make with these fresh flowers. Be sure to expect even more options in the future, which makes me really excited that there's going to be more designs for flowers, maybe, or other things we can do with flowers. I, I love that they're putting this into the game because we have needed it for a long time. Flowers are grown in two stages and will advance their growth with diligent watering, and they do not need to be planted in gardening soil. Also, something that has been confirmed is that they do not count against your plot minimum. So, ah, you can have as many flowers as you want on your plot. They have their own minimum, as do trees now, which is going to completely change our plots. I, I oh man, I can't wait to see what y'all y'all do with all of that. Um, so every time you catch an instinct in Kilima, not in Bahari specifically. So look at that. Every time you catch an insect in Kilima. There will be a chance for it to drop a flower seed or for those who are less insect inclined, Ani will be providing these seeds in his guild store. So I expect to see Kilima just 
full of honey lures today. I just want a million honey lures and everybody throwing a million bombs. Uh, but these seeds are also going to be in his guild store. Now, obviously, you're going to have to be catching bugs in order to get uh, the currency to buy things in his guild store. So you do still have to catch bugs. But uh, it's kind of nice that if you're specifically like looking for a rose and you don't want to go out there and have to find the right bug to get a rose, you can just go buy it from Ani. Also, Grimalkin tail flower and Shoppa tail flower. I'm very excited to see what those look like. Also, tree seeds are going to work a little bit differently now. They're going to have four growth stages and can be chopped at any time. So you can actually plant your trees at multiple levels, which I can't wait to see what everybody does with that. We also have the spring fever set, which is that new uh, that new furniture set that was already leaked for us. Um, a bunch of lamps for putting in our um, in our garden beds, plus all of the other items that we've already seen, like the swing, which is absolutely ama amazing, and then the different trellises. Also, we're finally getting uh, the lights that a lot of people have now. I was hoping that the lights were going to be a click and drag. It doesn't look like that's the case. The case they are large medium and small so they are already pre-made in those different sizes and it looks like they're just going to be recipes like usual also if you do not already have the rock edging or the wood edging from the glitch that happened a little while back that gave it to some players now we are finally all going to have it Frogbird is here does he come in peace and let me just say this is just the big thing that I needed from this from from this entire thing. <laughs> Several improvements to climbing have been made. Overall, it should feel better. We know that a lot of folks have feedback on this. It's been an ongoing project, but please, please, I need it. The controller support features have also been added here, so you can actually do your key binding. That's amazing. Uh, very, very exciting. And just for key, key binding in, in general is just very, very exciting. Um, and we're going to be able to, it looks like we're going to be able to do it as well for uh, for keyboards. So just if you, if you hate the way that you, you do controls, uh, that's all changing with this update. Uh, Pelia also has partial support for the DualShock and DualSense controllers, uh, just so you know, if you need that. For the Nio fans, he has additional animations and Vega, come on, more characterization, more handsome. <laughs> You're too freaking cute. Um, other improvements to the player experience, uh, essentially saying that new players won't have to travel around as much because villagers have shifted. So just keep that in mind if you're not seeing a villager where you're used to them being, just double check your map. Um, and then a couple of quest line changes. But here's one of the most exciting things to me. We have a bunch of new outfit bundles. First off, we knew about this one, the bridal party and the well-groomed, where if you meet up together, there's going to be beautiful animations that happen based on the outfit that you're wearing. That is is one of the coolest things that they have added to the game as far as cosmetics go. I love that they come with a hat top and bottom as well, which is going to give us way more options for uh, different styles of things to wear and hopefully to carry our animation across uh, multiple outfit styles that we want to. Maybe we won't have to be dressed head to toe in order for the animation to go. Maybe we could just be like wearing the headpiece and wearing a different outfit or just wearing the skirt. I mean, I'm really excited to see how they all work and what colorways they get because if there's like a goth mommy wedding dress like you know that's what i'm spending my money on today um uh so yeah when you are wearing an outfit from either of the set there will be that special effect and it grows as more people gather in these outfits up to five players so five players make this big beautiful uh animation together which i think is pretty cool looks like there's flowers all growing from the ground and sprouting i mean that's just that's really awesome uh there's also a wedding glider which i haven't seen yet and i'm really excited to see it's only 425 paleo coins so that's pretty cool uh and then this dog I mean, I know y'all are all freaking out. I, I, It's hilarious, first off, that there's a hot dog. Secondly, is this a pickle? Because I, this looks like a pickle to me, and it cracks me up. It's like a pickle wrapped around a hot dog. And then the Sunday one, come on, hilarious. But also, for additional outfits, we're getting the Noble Guard, the Moto Head, the Ready to Pop, and the Shoulder Show Off. Uh, these also look really awesome. This is really, I think this skirt is going to be really, really cute, and I'm excited to see it closer. But this, to me, is the big winner. We have had multiple community members asking for months for us to be able to get more dark colored clothes, more punk rock and goth looking outfits, some more modern looking outfits. And this is... This looks like something that you've all been asking for. So I'm really excited to see all the colorways of this outfit, particularly for some of the community members that have really wanted it or like, we're done with flowers. I don't want any more dresses and flowers. Give me something gothy or punk rocky. This this looks like the team heard you. It looks like the team heard you. Top bug fixes. The cross region travel is, is finally officially fixed. So we can play across servers. A lot of us have been doing that already, but we have still been experiencing some problems sometimes with getting uh, European people onto like a North American 
servers and whatnot. Um, so definitely excited that it is officially fixed. Um, also, if you have had Tish or anybody standing on your plot just staring at you and not talking to you for some reason, she's gone now. Moochin are back. Let's go. I forgot to mention this in my TikTok. Uh, the Moochin are back. So I'm excited to also see um, getting a big group of us together and doing some Moochin hunting, what that would mean for cash if any of us need money today. Um, our beloved Bahari green cylinders <laughs> have scooted away. Perhaps they're natural predators or Mujin. I mean, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> uh, and then there's a bunch of little like gameplay fixes and stuff. There's some uh, quest fix fixes and stuff. Um, unblocking issues, issues with housing. There's a couple of bugs with cosmetics where we couldn't see our characters in the uh, premium store. So definitely read through those. I always ex uh, say to read through the top known issues as well. If you ever have something major happening in the game, I suggest to come back here and look for emerging known issues and then go to the, the um, news before the most recent one to see if your top known issues in the top known issue. Like, for example, achievement progress is not um, is not being accessed from uh, multiple places. So if you play from PC and then go play on the switch, you might not see your achievements, even though the pro progress is there. It is working. It's just not showing on your other system. Um, and then also, obviously, the friend code, which is something that I'm dealing with. Um, I'm personally not using fertilizer right now because it's not working right sometimes. Um, so I'm just selling it to make money. Uh, face covers appear on your character when trying on multiple outfits. So they're aware of all these things and they are working on them right now. Um, so anyway, what do you think about the update? What is the thing that makes you most excited to play it? Is it the flowers and the cuteness? Is it some of the outfits? Do you want to be a hot dog? Are you mostly excited about the trees and being able to make forests or the character, the key binding? What is it that's making you jump for joy with this update? Let me know down in the comments. I'm going to be playing Palea all day on Twitch. So come and hang out with us. Uh, hang out with us over there if you would like to run around and uh, get some stuff done. All right. I love you. Bye.